all right traders I'm back again with another video and this time we're gonna be doing something a little different we're gonna be talking about Ichimoku system and the um, 100 200 moving average cloud trading system and I'm gonna show you why I use each one and we're gonna compare them both and also I would like to show you this um, site tradingview.com I've been on here for a few months I have about eight analysis on here but I'm gonna start posting more analysis on here and I'd like you to notice something about this so we'll go back I'll show you this in a little bit but what I wanted you to see was basically that when I make a, a an analysis here say I make this analysis here in a week or two later you can go back look at this analysis and then say okay let's see what happened you can click that button and it'll show you the updated level of the market and you can see if um how my analysis worked out if it worked out or if it was bogus okay but on this site also um, I post an, my analysis tell you why I think the market's gonna do what it does and then um, if you wanna find me on this site my name is ET Trader 63 so it's ICHI Trader 63 and uh, what else did I wanna tell you okay I wanna talk about this Euro USD trade before I show you a couple other things but this is the Euro USD on the daily time frame you can see this green line here that's a trend line and then the top line here is a um, support line okay well resistance line because the markets coming up to it okay so you have this um, trend line and then you have this uh, resistance line here now what this these two lines together formed was an ascending triangle and ascending triangles when the markets making higher lows so you have a low here you have a low here that's a higher low but the markets make continually making um, the same level highs so when in an uptrend you want the market to make higher lows and higher highs but it's making higher lows and same level highs okay so when it makes the same level highs it's like it's getting the markets getting crunched down and it's like it's um, building up pressure okay so finally it has to break out and you can see that it went up hit this level now there's not much room for it to come it's, if it keeps doing that it'll get tighter and tighter and then finally it'll bust out but a lot of times I'll notice that after the third attempt at a support or resistance line that fourth attempt the market usually breaks through that level that's what I've noticed and it, it's not always right but it's something that I look at okay and what I predicted I predicted was that the market would break through this level and here it breaks through this level closed above this level so I got into the trade I predicted I predicted it'll go up and come back down to this level you know retrace back to this level and then go to this level here to uh, 134 59, uh, 55 level and that's where I'm saying my profit target will be and I can monitor it after that if it breaks through that level I can continue to ride the market but I believe when it hits this level it'll retrace and then then go through that level so I want to take my profit here and then wait for it to break that level if it does okay um, you can see the levels here the support level for the um, the green line is the 200 and the blue line is the 100 so you can see you're getting ready to have a cross right here your 100 100 is going above your um, 200 and when that happens that's a bullish sign because you have your 100 bar moving average above your 200 this is a bearish sign here you see your 200 bar above your 100 okay and the markets below um, your 200 and below the 100 basically it came in here a couple times but it's basically below both moving averages so what you'll see now is the market crossed here then it found support at the 200 found support at 200 then bounced through found support at the 100 and broke back through above the 200 here's where you would want to get into the trade okay and then you have your stop loss below this pivot I love to have it below I love my stop losses below pivots below fractal levels this is a fractal level fractal low these are all fractal levels pivots are fractal levels basically and you could see the market broke through there and went up to that level now if I take this trade I know that this is going to be the level that I'm looking for profit because you can see where the market hit once hit twice so why wouldn't I think if I get here that that's where that market's going again and it did and then it bounced all the way down and now it broke through so I'm saying that it's breaking through this is breaking out of this ascending triangle so we're gonna go up to this level all right so let me take you to um, 
let me show you what I meant about going to this trading view site and checking out my analysis months later alright so let's go check it out I can show you a couple trades that a couple of analysis that I've done this one was done yesterday so that's the Euro USD this one was done four months ago we can look at that real quick and I'm gonna show you how you can um, check it out and see what it's doing months later see if I'm just talking bogus or if I'm giving you some valuable information now I said that this market was gonna reach this level here this is like seven months later seven months ago, no four months ago okay so the market was at this level now I know that my stop loss basically has to be below this Kijinsen at least but I like to be below pivots so this would be a level I want to be below or this level these two pivots now you gotta make sure you're below this pivot level a little because what the market's gonna try to do is come down stop you out below these pivot levels but usually if a market comes back <clears throat> to this pivot level and goes breaks through it then I know that it may be going the uh, opposite way a lot of times it likes to come back and test that pivot level take all the um take everybody's stop loss out and then run but let's see what that market do has done four months later if it reaches this red line that I'm predicting and so far it hasn't reached this level yet but you can see I made that analysis right here the market came, went up and now it came, it came way back down came to the uh, Kijinsen level if you put the stop loss a little below here you depending on how deep you put it you might have gotten stopped out at this pivot level okay but it would have been close and then the market took off again now let's see where it is and then the market retraced again back to that see that pivot level holding that um, fractal level that strong fractal level holding three times here and then the market's going again. Now this is going to hold again too. We expect I expect this to hold and then maybe bounce and then go again, but it's going towards that that support level, that resistance level that I told you. Okay? So that's one analysis. I have like eight analysis on here. I'm going to start posting more analysis on here. It's easy to make an analysis on here and write it up real quick. Sometime I can do that quicker than video for some reason I don't know I kinda like to sit down and start writing it let's look at this seven months ago I made this uh, forecast of the euro USD let's see where we are I make a lot of long-term um, long-term suggestions because I'm going off support and resistance and sometimes it takes days and weeks to hit that level now we had a descending triangle pattern here opposite of what I've showed you earlier on the ascending triangle and this is usually a bearish uh, um, pattern and what happens is the market is making lower highs and it's making the same level lows okay so that's gonna make your descend your descending triangle pattern and I predicted the market would go in here and bounce off of that level before it got crunched up and then bust through and like I said a lot of times three times the fourth time it busts through here's one two three now here comes the fourth time okay the fourth time it usually goes through and I predicted that it'll go to this level this is where I would have taken my profit and the reason I would have predicted predicted that level is because I see this um, fractal low right here that fractal level of support so let's see what happens to that market and we took the market when the market was right here when it broke through because we broke through that um, support level of the uh, descending triangle and the market came right down to that level that I said and then the market went up a little bit retraced and then went through that level but you would have made your trade would have been good here and you could have monitored it take your profit and then you see it break through that support level you could have went again okay I trade mostly support and resistance levels and that's all I'm doing here this is a support level right here. It breaks through that level. I trade it. I'm trading to this support level right here. It made it to that level. And then it broke through that level. If I break that level, I take that support level trade. Mostly a lot of support and resistance trades. Now, I'm not going to show you any more on here. You can come on here and look and see what I'm 
how my analysis is done you can do the same thing click on my analysis and click this button here and it'll show you what it's done three four months later a year later or whatever I make my analysis down here and I let you know why I think it's gonna do what it's gonna do so look me up tradingview.com ichi trader 63 ichi trader 63 alright so let's get back to our uh, analysis with the, the up-to-date market right now this is the euro USD um, on a daily time frame okay looking at the daily time frame you see your Ichimoku system you have a um, Kumo twist right here this Kumo twist is um, bearish I mean bullish sorry you have a bullish Kumo twist you have your TK cross right here that's bullish you have Chiku span above um, price which is bullish and you have price above the um, Kumo bullish so the market is telling us on the daily time frame let's go long okay and here's where you would have saw that um, try that um, trend line that I made it would have been from here coming up here and then you would have saw this support level right here so this resistance level right here so that's where you would have seen that ascending triangle and I'm gonna show you something else okay so I took this trade because it broke above this I looked at this as a third hit and then I saw it break below the, above this level so I took the trade it's not moving much it's staying barely moving doing anything but right now with the holidays coming up and the new year's coming up the markets not going to be too you're not going to have a lot of uh, movement in the market and it's probably better to wait to make trades after the new year so that's what I'm looking at on the um, on the uh, Ichimoku system let's take this to the four hour time frame Now looking at the four hour time frame you can see where the market broke out here and this is where we would have got into the trade we would put our stop loss definitely below this level right here because see here's your support level right here the bottom of this cloud and then I would have put it below this little pivot right here this is a um, little fractal level I want my stop loss below that fractal you can see your Kumo twist would have been bullish. You have a bullish TK cross. Chico spans above price and price is above the Kumo. So everything is bullish on both charts, daily and four hour. Really no reason to be going short, maybe for a scalp if you're an experienced trader. So you could take that little scalp trade. Okay, but that's what I'm looking at on the four hour time frame. Now let me show you something else here. Let's go back to the daily. Alright, looking at the daily time frame. Alright. Now look at this daily time frame. This is a support level right here. You see where the market came down? And that's basically where your Kijensen is, right? So it's right in that area right there. Market comes down, goes back up, comes down, hits that level again. So you're no, seeing that Kijensen is a support level there. And the market goes up. This horizontal support, we have to make our own lines. We have to see that ourselves. Nothing on the system gives us that. But down here, we see this uh, support level with the cloud. So we see the cloud holding support level right here. And then we see the breakout here. Let me show you this. Now looking at this chart on the um, 100, 200 cloud um, cloud moving average system, you could see the same thing. Here's where the um, Chikus, here's where the uh, Kijensen would have held support right here. This is where it came up, come down to the Kijensen. But instead of the Kijensen, we have the 200 bar moving average holding support right there see where the markets hitting that and then finally the market comes all the way through here and holds support at the 100 moving average well instead of the 100 moving average the Kijin sent the um, Kumo cloud is holding support at the bottom there same area now the thing about the the uh, 100 bar and 200 bar moving average let me show you where I could get into the trade 
on the Kumo breakout, we don't trade anything in the cloud, and we don't trade anything in the cloud on the um, 100 bar moving average, 200 bar moving average. And you don't even need the cloud to see that on the um, moving average trades. You could take that cloud away and just put the two, the, uh, two uh, moving averages and see you don't want to trade in between them. I mean, if you're an experienced trader and you want to bounce off those levels, but basically, we don't get into this trade until here. Okay, so look where that is. But on this system, there's the Kumo cloud breakout. Let's see that again. Okay, so it would have been here on this break. It would have came back to the Kijinsen, holding that support level, and then it would have took off again. So we're getting in here, we're saying, right? So it came back to the Kijinsen, which would have been here, and then it's going again. So you're getting in the trade here. Well, on this, you're getting in the trade down here. Okay? And the reason I like to use the 100 bar moving average, 200 bar moving average cloud system is because I get to do more technical analysis myself. I get to, to do more things with the uh, market and find more things myself. Okay, with the Ichimoku system, there's a lot of stuff already on the chart, and I draw more lines and scatter it all up, and it just looks a mess. But on here, I can put a trend line in. I can put my horizontal resistance. You have to put your horizontal resistance on any chart, so you definitely have to do that, even on the um, even on the um, Ichimoku system. So you want to put your le your levels where your support is. But a lot of times you see this support level and you know that this is your cloud. That's going to be your support level. You, you see this level here. This is going to be a level depending on where the market is, where you want to put it. You don't even have to use this if the market's way up here. But with this, I'm looking at this support level with the 200. I'm looking at this as a level. Now, I'm not trading anything inside this cloud. So the market comes down, bounces off of this level and then breaks this level. Now also the market bounced off of this trend line. You see I put that trend line in so I get to do some analysis on my own. Now the market bounced off of the 100 bar moving average and then it took off and when it broke up here we get into the trade. I like to, like I said, I like to put my stop loss below the pivot. Sometimes it's too deep for, sometimes it's too deep for me so I won't do that. I'll have to put it somewhere else where it's more sensible but I like to put a sensible technical stop loss technically the market can retrace back to this level because it's now this fractal level is now a support level so if I put a stop loss right here I'm saying that well the 200 bar is going to hold but really take the 200 bar and 100 bar away and put more technical based off of what the market's been doing and this is showing you where your level should be now like I said it could be too deep for you but depending on what you're trading if you're trading a daily time frame, it'll be bigger. If you're trading an hour time frame, it won't be as big. All right. Now, you see where I told you you got in here on this, but on the Ichimoku system, you got in here, so you missed all this. And then the market bounced back down. And here's where I got into this trade here where the market broke this level here. And I'm in this trade right now for nothing, basically. The market's not doing anything, like I said, you know. Let's look at this on... Uh, four hour time frame and then we'll be done alright you see basically when the market broke here I didn't get into the trade because I waited I knew that the market broke this level and then it would retrace to this level and then go well being that the market's not doing much it can retrace back more to this level and it could even break down through this level and again this is a sensible stop loss because this is a strong um, support level, a strong resistance level when the market came up to it, and now it's gonna it's gonna hold as a strong support level hopefully. But with the market not moving much and the holidays and everything, this trade may not develop for a while. But let me show you this four-hour time frame, how everything draws out. Now we had this on the daily time frame and had that uh, ascending triangle. And we drew that all in. And now if you look at it on the four hour time frame, you could see there's where I put my, my trend line and here's where we have our horizontal support. 
here's where it hit one two three and the fourth time breaking through okay and where did I show my um, let's go back to the daily time frame I think I showed you guys I hope I showed you the level that I want to go to all right on the daily time frame here this is where you make all yours on the daily time frame try to make all your um, support and resistance lines and everything and then try to make your profit targets based off of the daily time frame now I'm saying that the markets gonna go from here up to this level this is the first level that I'm looking at but this is the main level right here you can see where this where the market hit off of that level a couple times see that so I'm saying that basically at one um 133.72 you want to be careful this is where you could look for the market to stall a little but I'm saying that this is where it's going to retrace when it reaches back up to that level 134.75 um, that's where I'll, I'll take my profit okay but I'll be watching when it gets here to see what it's going to do and if it starts to retrace a lot I probably take take my profit and then maybe when it breaks here I get in again now what you look for is for it to break this level again when it breaks this level if it breaks that level then you got to start looking for other areas of support where the market could be headed and all I do is look for support and resistance areas where the market could go alright so every time the market makes another support level I use it as a stop loss or I use it as a air to the trade and every time I see a prior support level or um, resistance level I use those as so basically I'm a support and resistance trader basically and I think that's the most important thing to know if you're trading um, but traders that's it that's it right now and I'll be back with another video whenever I see some things develop or whenever something comes to my mind that I really want to show you but traders hopefully I'm helping you and until next time God bless